Hi folks, Toad here with Visordown.com and today we are at Triumph in Hinkley and we are here to talk about the new Speed Twin. So this is the 2021 update, Euro 5, and there is a lot more going on than that. But what exactly is the Speed Twin? Well, it's a very successful bike and the numbers don't tell all of the story. They've sold around about 11,000 of these things, but the more important number for me is that in the UK, this is the most popular of the modern classic range. So that's all the Bonnevilles, the Bobbers, the Thruxtons, everything. It's outsold them all in the UK. So that tells me this is probably the bike that is best suited to life in the UK on UK roads with UK riders riding them. Triumph is hoping to boost that for 2021 and they haven't just done a Euro 5 update and a minor change in spec and a few more premium details. No, no, no. They've properly gone at this thing and there's some of the things that you can see like the front end is completely all new and the engine has also had a major raft of updates and performance changes inside as well. To find out more though, we're going to have a talk to Stuart Wood, one of the guys behind the bike. But before that, have a look at some riding footage. So before we talk to Stuart Wood, one of the men behind the bike, let's just have a look at some of the B-roll footage and get a look at the details a bit closer up. So I guess really where we should start is to talk about the engine of the new Speed Twin. So from the outside looking in, looks very much similar to the previous generation and some of the other bikes in the Bonneville range, but this has got more power, it's more responsive, the torque is now lower and it's Euro 5. So how have you achieved that sort of holy grail? Okay, well you mentioned, mentioned the, the response. You get the response in two ways. One we've made a broader torque spread. So wherever you are in the rev range, you're gonna get more, more torque. Yeah. So in addition, we've reduced the inertia of the engine as well. So that's the crankshaft is reduced inertia, but also there's a rear earth alternator. So you feel that when you blip the throttle or when you're accelerating, mm -hmm. the response is, is quicker, it picks up quicker. Yeah. In terms of making more power and actually spreading the torque, we're running a higher compression ratio mm -hmm. with a machine piston crown. We've got higher lift, valves and longer duration and we've also modified the intake ports as well so there's a lot of work gone on in the engine yeah. to produce that performance is it still the kind of the accessible bike it always was because it sounds to me like the the longer valve lift and duration and all of that stuff has it turned it into a bit of an animal or is it still a bike that anybody can get on and enjoy yeah not, not at all it is it's still really easy mm -hmm. and really confidence inspiring to use it's it, okay. you've got the riding modes as well so you've got rain road and sport mode so that'll adjust your traction control maps yeah. and your throttle maps as well and that's all been retuned obviously for the higher performance engine and that okay. spread of torque so and um, we've also got it through those pesky euro 5 regulations but the exhaust system looks very much the same i mean i don't see any massive great chonking catalytic converter anywhere so uh, i mean what have you done to get around that without really making the bike look terrible Okay, as, as with all the Bonnevilles, mm -hmm. we hide all the tech, we hide all the things that you have to have, we know we clearly have to pass all the legislation, and with this update, we've added secondary air injection, which you won't see, mm -hmm. and we've added two more catalysts as well. So it's all hidden, okay? okay have, where, a, have a good look, it's spot, spot the catalyst. Where are they? But you've got three catalysts. You've got one underneath the engine, right. in the cat box, okay. and of course you can't see because we've got this Beautiful line of uh, exhaust, yep. header run, okay? And then you've got one in the front of each silencer ah, as well. Ah, okay, cool. That's a decent job, because you really wouldn't know that there were any catalysts there unless you went poking around line on the floor, which it's is really important. a nice touch. The bike's all about the way it looks, its character, its style. Mm -hmm. You don't want to spoil that. No, no. So we couldn't come all this way and not have a listen to it, but sadly the fire system in the office that we were at earlier wouldn't have liked to start in the bike up, so I've had to wheel it into the garage. So um, I think we should probably have a little listen to the 2021 Triumph Speed Twin, don't you? Now I know that isn't doing anything for you down the microphones on those cameras, but I'll tell you what, in this hall that sounds absolutely stunning and uh, impressive that they've managed to get through Euro 5 and not 
choked to the bike and still got it sounding like a proper parallel twin from Hinkley. So Stuart, delivery is up, power is up, uh, torque is more usable. I'm thinking this bike is gonna be getting down the road quicker than the previous generation. It's a bit more obvious that you haven't just left the chassis, the suspension and the brakes the same. So can you talk us through everything that you've done to the bike on that front? I mean, primarily starting with the front end, which looks completely different to the previous machines. Yeah, it, it is. Obviously, it's a completely matched package. The chassis and the engine work together. Yep. You're, you're not differentiating between one and the other when you're riding. You just want a beautiful bike that's agile, responsive, and you just think it around the corners. Now, with the extra performance, as you said, we've upgraded the front end. We've now got upside down front forks. Yep. We've got Brembo M50 radial monoblock calipers. So that's a up, real upgrade on the brakes. And we've gone up from 305 to 320 mil discs. Okay. So a real improvement in the braking that matches beautifully with the upside down forks, the extra rigidity, and basically the package um, just comes together. And just rounding out the sort of chassis changes, we've also got. Um Metzler Race Tech RR tyres, which are a sports bike tyre, for want of a better phrase, aren't they? No, absolutely. If you look at the geometry figures for the bike, mm -hmm. it is sports bike geometry, and we wanted people to, uh, to be able to enjoy that. Yeah. This bike is really fun to ride and very easy to ride, mm -hmm. so why not? It's a, it's a, it gives you more grip. Um, we've retuned the attitude of the bike a little bit, so we've tipped it forward a half a degree. Okay. It's all about improving the agility and the fun. You've got half a degree uh, less headstock angle yep. and a couple of millimetres less trail. It makes it lighter, more agile, mm -hmm. and again, everything comes together to give you the package. And just, you know, talking about the front end again, that those USD forks and the Brembo M50s and the radial brakes, they just completely transform the look of the bike. It looks so much more muscular and it kind of looks like the bike that I wanted it to look like before. I always did wonder you know, whether or not USD forks would transform it. And they do look absolutely spanking. And um, we're talking about styling. So, I mean, you never leave a bike like this alone when you get a bit of a, a chance to spruce it up. And uh, I noticed as soon as I walked in that the, the new graphics um, on the side of the tank and then kind of the, the new badging and some of the little premium touches on the standard bike alone sort of lift the bike quite a bit. What, what have we done there? Can you talk us through some of the changes sort of stylistically on the, on yeah. the, on the Speed Twin? Well, as you say, the, the things that jump out at you are the upside down forks mm -hmm. and, the, and the big brakes at the front. So going with that, the front mudguard um, supports have to be different because they're mounted differently oh, yeah. off have the bottom of the fork. to go down either fork. side, don't they? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we've also got these um, aluminium anodized uh, headlight mountings. Mm. Again, it's all about detail. It's not just about the um, big visual aspect. It's mm -hmm. the detail of the quality. Yeah, they did, as soon as you walk in, they sort of jump out at you, um, which is nice as well. The exhaust system now is brushed stainless, yep. which again gives a complete flow right the way through the bike and helps to lighten the look of the bike as well. So the old one wasn't, um, it wasn't black all the way down, was it? It was no, just it was, the, the actual silence. Of that's the right. Flat. But yeah, it does, yep. it, like you said, it just makes it sort of pop when you walk in the room, especially under these lights. Yeah, and the wheels as well. Previously mm -hmm. a seven spoke wheel, now a 12 spoke wheel. So that 12 spoke means that we can get very fine spokes. The multi-spoke look, again, really suits that sort of yeah. classic and modern and sports look that you get with a bike. I think aggressive is what I'd say. They, they look like aggressive sports bike wheels. I mean, they wouldn't look out of place on a track day. So um, yeah. we've spoken about styling, engine, chassis, all the changes. We've also got some updates on this one. Could you just quickly talk us through what we've got yeah. in terms of the accessories on that one? Okay, accessories. We've got over 50 accessories. Okay. And we've got a few of them on here to show you. Um, there's a machined uh, from Billet um, headlight bezel. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got multifunction indicators, which right. means that you lose the rear light and you've got the functionality for rear light and indicators in the rear indicator. Cool. We've got different mirrors, again, all about choice. We've got the quilted seat that you can have in either a brown or a black, and, and a specific tank bag as well. Lovely, good stuff. So um, could you tell me when these are gonna be landing in UK dealers and when people can start booking in test rides and demos? Okay, well, the bikes are gonna be available in August. Okay. So I would suggest you go and start talking to your dealer as soon as you like. Excellent. Okay, well, there you have it, folks. That is the new 2021 Triumph Speed Twin. Stuart, thank you very much for having us along, as always. It's been a pleasure. You're welcome. And uh, I'm really looking forward to riding this one, and you can read a lot more about it over on visordown.com. <laughs>